Hi everybody, welcome to DayZ, this is on the PlayStation 4 and in this video I'm going to show you how to build one of these babies, your very own watchtower. You know, I was thinking at my base uh, in Tupperland in Livonia, I thought, what else does it need? It needs a watchtower. Um, and so I've built it. Um, building is very, very glitchy in DayZ at the moment, and it probably still is when you come around to, to making yours. And with the watchtower, because you need so much stuff, um, it means that you're about to come across uh, problems as you're doing it that'll involve logging in and logging out and doing doing things like that. However, the, to prepare yourself, um, you're obviously going to need a lot of stuff. Now, I've I've kind of I, I've got a list of stuff that you that I think you need. Um, However, this is probably isn't completely accurate. I've based this upon the Daisy Wiki, um, and that may well have been updated. And to be honest, it's been so I've had so many glitches and problems as I've been trying to build this uh, tower. I don't know if stuff's disappeared as I've dropped it on the floor. Some stuff has been become stuck in one of my tents, and I can't get it out. But I reckon, I reckon, I reckon, I reckon, you need. I reckon you need 12 logs, 224 nails, 92 wooden planks, 6 sheet metals, and you need some rope and 4 sticks for the watchtower kit. Um, and that will give you a watchtower with a metal roof that's probably that will have wood going all the way up to the top actually so you probably need a few less planks and a few less nails but that's about it if you can gather that sort of stuff together that would be cool obviously you make you make planks from either finding wood piles you know those square wood piles that you find in lumber yards and using a saw to cut them out or you can chop down some trees and make planks that way obviously logs you get from chopping down trees um, and nails you'll find all over the place you're going to need as far as tools go you're going to need an axe to cut down the trees, you're going to need a saw to make logs, you're going to need um, a shovel to dig the base to put the bottom bits in, um, and you're going to need hammers or hatchets uh, to put the nails in, um, especially because you're probably going to make some mistakes as you go along, you're going to move them out, and you're going to need either sharpening stones or, or duct tape, lots of duct tape, or spare hammers and hatchets, because they will wear out as you are doing this, as will your axe and as will your saws. But there we go. Um, I don't think you can put anything on the back. So normally you would have the... Uh, normally when you're building a watchtower, you would have the back of it facing sort of... Well, it's a bit difficult because my base is kind of open from all sides. I decided to put it on on that way but as you see it's open open to the back um, but there we go uh, so this video goes on a bit and uh, <laughs> as I say it is a bit of a pain normally you would build the watchtower in the corner as well wouldn't you I've kind of stuck it in the middle just for, for ease of access but there we go hopefully you find this useful and uh, yeah enjoy right so here we go let's get started on our base so the first thing we need to make is a watchtower kit now in my backpack i already have the rope that i need and i already have the short sticks so if we put the short sticks into our hand and then we combine that with the rope um, the first thing that comes up is the fence kit we don't want that so we tap right trigger and craft a watchtower kit now remember these are reusable once we've made the watchtower so we can uh, take it again so we can get rid of that short stick we can pick up the watchtower kit so now we can choose where it's going to go um, the open bit sort of where I am is where kind of the entrance is going to be so generally I guess I probably get that that door will open it I want it right in the middle don't I let's put it right in the middle let's put it let's put it there it's important to remember that when, when you build a t anything in Daisy, you've got to be careful about something called clipping. So that means if there's trees or buildings around um, and you start going up, there could be a point when you can't actually go up anymore. So the next thing we need to add are the uh, th the logs. Now, as you can see, see it's like it's like a builder's string, isn't it? That's laid out. 
that's, that's what the watchtower kit is. So now we need to stick in the logs. So let's go and uh, rather handily in this tent, I think. Just not let me put it into my hand. Okay, no worries. Okay, so let's see. So what's happened here is that the log has glitched out a little bit and I can't put it in my hands, but I may well be able to drag it over, put it into the base. Yes, I can. Oh, that's good. Okay, so as you can see, put them in. We need four. Okay, so we've got our logs in, so what we do now is we equip our spade and then we can now go up to the logs. Actually, it sounds like there's a zombie coming. And then... Build base. It's appeared in the middle. Build base. So hold R2. And this is going to plonk all the logs into the corners. There we go. So that's our base built. Now, now, as you can see, the um, watchtower kit has now appeared. So we're going to go and put that back here to keep it safe. So if we come back over to the watchtower base, if you look into the um, inside it, you can see here that we've got all the spaces for all the things that we need to add. So nails, planks, all this sort of stuff. So what we can do is we can start adding all this stuff in. Um, and once you've added it in, you've piled it in. It's almost like you're bringing all the in, all the ingredients over. And then you get out your hatchet and your nails, and you can start putting it together. Okay, so we've <laughs> we've got our base built up. Uh, so this is it, building stuff in Daisy is really difficult because the game is so glitchy. So things go wrong an awful lot. But obviously, through the magic of video editing, you don't always get to see this. So we've got our base up and I've got some stuff in my hands and in my backpack and basically um, the way that base building works and building works in Daisy is that once you've got your um, watchtower kit down um, and the base is in what you can see here on the left hand side of my screen is kind of the blueprint these are the ingredients the, well the list of ingredients we need to add to our watchtower to build it and if we plonk things into these slots we can then use our hammer or our hatchet to then build the stuff unfortunately it doesn't really show you um, what you need to do to get to the next level you know what comes next obviously with the watchtower we've got a base to build we've got stairs to build we've got another base to build more stairs and then we've got the roof and then we've got, we can put planks on the side as well so generally what I found is one of the ways that you can do it is that if you pile um, materials into each slot and sometimes it's easy to close some of these slots as well actually using the clicking in the right stick so you don't get overwhelmed so if you just pile lots of stuff in more than you in reality you would need like this and we can put some more planks in as well. The game then just gives you an option to kind of crack on and build. And then you just take the excess ones out afterwards. Okay, so it's not letting us put any more in now. So what we'll do now is we'll now, in fact, I'm going to equip. At some point, I might need to run off and get another. I've run out of tape and I've run out of. Um, I've just got damaged stuff left. So. What we're looking to build now is the is the roof. So hopefully it's going to give us an option. Have we got enough nails? Yep, we've got enough nails. To build the roof. Come on, let me build the roof. There we go, build roof, right, okay. Right, 
there we go the roof has appeared and if we look over here you can see the number of nails has gone down and the number of planks has gone down so if we now pile some more planks in we should now get the option to build the stairs build stairs now it, these little options that pop up can be quite difficult to, to sit, find sometimes and they kind of glitch out brilliant let's just keep right well, hammer slinger can so now we've got our first level now before we go up I just want to show you so what we could do as well if we wanted to do at this point we can then upgrade the sides by adding planks and um, nails um, and camo netting and barbed wire that sort of stuff so that these walls here would be filled in all right but what we're going to do is we're just going to build the frame of our watchtower to start off with see how we get on so the next thing we need to do if we go to the, go up here we can see we've now got this another base and we need to put into the base three um uh sorry four more logs so what we need to do now is we need to go and get the logs now, be very careful because you don't want to fall off and die I think I've got I've got more logs in here. I've got three, so we should now be able to put in. There we go, four. So since so we're building the floor. Oh, there we go. Right, brilliant. There we go. So that's up. So now, what we need to do now is put planks and nails into this base. So what we should be able to do is if we go downstairs... <laughs> and then take these out of there. We can now put these into here so we have to kind of wait till it they can go in there let's put a load of nails in here as well let's put some more planks in have I got more planks oh no we dropped the planks didn't we They're down there So now what we're going to do is we're going to put these planks in. Okay, so that's the maximum planks we can do. Let's equip our hammer. And we should get an option to build either the stairs or the roof okay so roof first that would make sense so there's our roof now we can R2 build the stairs excellent so now what we want, we want to take out the excess stuff so let's just take this excess stuff out and now what we need, we need some more logs for the next and final level. So let's go down there <laughs> very gingerly. See my hammer's damaged down. We don't do that same thing where we're, we're clicking, well, we're holding down X on the PlayStation, A on the Xbox, going over with the shoulder buttons, and then we're just moving the D pad around till we get to the, the base lights up. Okay, so we need. Ooh, one false move and we fall off this and we're dead. <laughs>
probably do. Let's take these planks up at the same time. Let's drop them. Right, let's put these logs into the base. Okay, so that's enough. So now if we equip our... Let's see if this hammer can handle it. Build floor. There we go. Okay, so the next stage is the roof. So let's start. Brilliant. Right. Okay. Where did you go there? Have we got enough logs? planks in the roof. Our oh, build roof, there we go. There we go. Look at that. So, in fact, let's just pick up this metal. So as you can see, we've now now got all the the, the basics of our um, watchtower in place. We just need to make it a little bit safer. Oh, it looks like it's getting dark. So what we'll do, we will just put this away, and then uh, I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, so as you can see, we've now got the structure of the watchtower set up. <laughs> so to stop it becoming a death trap, we need to add some structure to the walls. Um, so what we need to make sure we've got in our so we've got loads of planks and we've got loads of nails. I'm just worried that my hatchets and hammers are going to run out and become too damaged. But hey, let's see what we can do. So we'll start with the top. And what we're going to do is we're just going to the ba so what we can do now the materials that are in the base we can put them into the sides so we put those into there those into there see so if we need any more okay so what we do now so as you can now we've got the option to build the lower frame so here we go. Um, now you could there's you, sometimes there's an upper frame as well. Oh, it's not giving me that option. So, all right, yeah. So we could build the upper frame. Actually, probably I don't really want the upper frame because I want to be able to see out, don't I? So we press R2, the right trigger. Let's build the wooden wall. There we go. And then the next thing we can do is if we then move the stuff from there to there and there to there, we can now build the lower frame of the front. And then it's going to give us the option to build the lower wooden wall. Cool. And now what we're going to do is we're going to move 
these bits down to the next bit and we're going to need more planks and we're going to need more nails so let's move some planks and nails across so now we should have the option to build so it says build upper frame, but I don't want the upper frame, so I press R2 to get the next part, build lower frame. There we go, and then we should get the option now to, unless my hammer's broken. Right, my hatchet is ruined, so let's lob it away. Let's use this one. Or maybe this one's too damaged to use as well. Oh no, because we, we haven't got enough planks in there. Let's add some more planks. That should be enough now. Build lower wall. There we go. So this is more looking like a proper watchtower now, isn't it? I don't... And then we can start putting this excess stuff into upgrade left. Need more nails. Put the lower frame. Oh, I built the wrong one. I built the upper frame. Oh well. So we've put the wall on that. Let's move this stuff down to here. And there she is, <laughs> the watchtower. 
I didn't really need one, but know, let's go to the top and have a look around. So, wow. Building this thing in DayZ on the PlayStation, and I guess the Xbox, and probably the PC too, is a task and a half. I tell you. Because <laughs> the game's so glitchy with the inventory, and because you're constantly going, coming in and out of your inventory um, and moving stuff around. Something's going to go wrong. Something is going to go wrong. But hopefully by the time you come around to building your own watchtower or series of watchtowers, you'll uh, you'll have a much better time than I did and you'll be able to do it much faster. But there we go. Hopefully this video has been useful. I know it's jumped around a bit, but if you've enjoyed it, hit like if you want to see more of the same. Press subscribe. Um, put your questions and comments down below and I will see you again soon.